Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to properly measure flour. Hey, Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am popping in for just a few seconds to really quickly show you the proper and the improper way to measure flour. Now, this technique is specific to when you are using cups, so let me demonstrate really quickly how not to measure flour. This is the wrong way to measure flour. You should never just scoop directly into the flour bin like that. Now, many of you know that it's very important to use a straight edge to level off your flour. Of course, you would never want to measure out your flour like this. This is obviously not a cup, but even if you level off that flour like this, what you've done here is you've packed a ton of flour into this measuring cup by scooping it that way. Now, the flour could already be dense in your bin, and then when you scoop it, you're just packing that flour in there, and you're going to end up with a lot more flour than you need. So let me show you the correct way to measure flour. Take your measuring cup, take a spoon, and we're just going to briefly stir the flour. The reason we do this is because if you've just poured the flour out of your bag into your bin, or if you're measuring straight out of your flour bag, the flour could be really packed in there. So when you go to spoon it, you might be spooning packed flour. We just wanna quickly give that a nice stir and then spoon this flour into our measuring cup. Now, of course, you want to use a straight edge. As you can see, I'm using the back of a knife. Make sure it's the straight back of a knife and just level off that flour. Now, I know this is such a simple technique, but the difference that you have between this cup of flour and this cup of flour can actually be very, very significant. You can end up adding extra tablespoons or even extra cups of flour into your recipe without meaning to if you measure improperly. That's really all that I wanted to show you today, but before I let you go, I do wanna talk really quickly about using metric measurements for measuring your ingredients. I highly, highly, highly recommend using a kitchen scale rather than using cups. I was resistant at first, but this has basically eliminated my need for measuring cups. It's an inexpensive scale. This particular one was about $12 on Amazon, and I'll link to it in the description in case you wanna check it out. It actually makes things a lot easier. I was a little intimidated at first, but for no reason. Okay, that is all I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for letting me pop in. I hope you found this tip to be helpful, and I'll see you next time. Am I supposed to take a bite of this now? Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's kitchen tip, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this recipe video, here are a few others you might like as well.